Craig is looking for Brian. Something came up. I didn't want Brian to be the baby's father in the first place. We're the parent. And I'm the biological father, and that gives me more rights oh, than you. Oh, oh. Now, he's a part of our lives forever, whether we like it or not. Have you seen him? Get your ass over here fast. I am not babysitting him again. What are you doing? Mike? Tracy? It was you. Sex is awesome, wasn't it? Queer as folk. He's still in the coma. Are you telling me that Ted wants me to decide whether or not to pull the plug? I tried to talk him out of it. So do you have a boyfriend, Justin? He knows. My mom knows. I let you lie here forever. How'd you like that? I'm not doing it. I told him you'd be this way. I know what you're going through. You'll do the right thing. You don't know that. The mother. I'm the birth mother. Go back with him then. And you can wait here. Actually, we're raising him together. We're a couple. David's throwing a dinner party. I want to make a good impression. That's where I know you from. You gave me crabs. I need to file papers to make me his legal guardian. Tell me where to sign. No way. Would you stay out of this? You're his father. This is two totally different worlds. There's only one thing that we should do. So, this is it. It's over. We should get on with it. I changed my mind. Oh, God.
coming next, queer as folk. I want you to move in with me. He asked you? Oh, Michael! I'm so happy for you. I haven't decided yet. What's to decide? I said I'd think about it. What's to think about? This is about what a certain someone's going to say, isn't it? I told you. When I said you could stay here, there are rules. You sent him away? Justin's run away. You better find him and bring him back. Where's David? It ran its course down. Leave it alone. David and I had nothing in common. You ruined my kid's life. You know I've looked after Mikey. You've been there too much. He had a chance with David. What do you want me to do about that? Some. You owe my kid some. It's Mikey's 30th birthday. He should have a party he never forgets. I feel like she's shutting me out. Look, I don't want to hear this. The minute you start telling your friends your relationship problems, it's the end. Wow, this really is a surprise party. I made a promise to God, remember? She said, if I tested negative, I know you never have sex with another man. What's us? A group of dogs. It's not people like us. Believe it or not, I uh, used to be a lesbian. Used to be? I don't have the need to constantly express everything that I'm feeling. I wish you tried. Have it ever occurred to you that I might be tired? Well, I'm tired, too. Are those guys really never going to talk to each other again? Looks that way. You can change. You can change. I'd start with those shoes. Maybe you should ask yourself. Is this the life God wants for me? You expect too much. <laughs> Nothing's ever enough. I'm starting to wonder if anything ever could be. Sonny boy, my dad got cancer. You should tell him because it's good for you. Just tell a dying man I'm queer. Hi, Hank. I just sleep. Okay. How about you? You gotta give him some time, you know, to get to know you. I don't think he wants to get to know you. I'm taking Gus home. I went out for a couple of hours. Don't tell me you'll be there for him when you're not. Who are you? I am Guillaume. And you are? 
Melanie. You're the one who had the affair. There's a meeting after school at the Gay Straight Student Alliance. Hey, Taylor. You starting a faggot club? I stopped by to see my son. I'm afraid that's not possible. But I can do no. it. What's going on? Yeah, who's this guy? Gay or straight, we all want the same thing. All right, Taylor. That's enough. This meeting is over. You know, once Lindsay and I are married, we'll need you to keep your distance. This is a farce. You're marrying the wrong person. Look at that. How do you like it? <laughs> David got it for me. It's like he's got this whole new life. You've become a little snuff. I am freaking out. Why? Because she didn't ask you to be the maid of honor? You think this is funny? They're going to go with it next week. Fundraiser will be held at the home of Dr. David Cameron. I wasn't invited. We're all invited, right, honey? This just isn't your thing, okay? Do you still love me? How dare you do this to me? You should all leave. You want me? There's no one else in the room, beautiful. I'm in a relationship. So? So we don't fool around. Just because we're gay, it's impossible for us to have a loving, loyal relationship. Not because we're gay, because we're men. Look who it is. He's still cute. You say that about all the boys who put you in a coma. Flake! Flake! Come on! I was worried about him. Flake could have called. Where were you? Out. My dad died. I'm really sorry. He was sick. It was time. I wish he's your dad. I said I'm fine. You said that I could count on you for anything. So he came here. He's using you. You're just jealous. Jealous? Jealous that I have actually found somebody who wants to be with me. If you break his heart, I will break your face. Stay here with me. Just for a little bit. What are you doing? There's a job at his agency that I'd be perfect for. So if you get this job, you're leaving? Not if. When. I plan to plead guilty. You're letting them know that they can keep getting away with this. It's got nothing to do with you. You can't go. What are you going to do without me? I don't know. I guess I'll survive. Need to hang these things up before they wrinkle all over the... Is counsel ready to enter a plea? Yes, Your Honor. So you're just abandoning your son? Go. Go to New York. Go to your new life. When I walk out that door, I don't plan on ever looking back. It broke all the rules and caused a sensation, but nothing will prepare you for this. Explosive episode yet of America's most provocative series. Previously on Queers, this party, you've been 
partying ever since you got back. Get over David. Get a job. And get on with your life. You told him you didn't want him to see me anymore, didn't you? It was for your own good, and he agreed. You had no right! We do have a position for which I think you'd be ideally suited. Assistant manager. I mean, he fired me. Me, the hardest working, most devoted employee he's got. And for what? Are you happy being an accountant? No, sir, not really. But I'm doing you a favor. I can. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Trigger his memory. Get him to feel the pain. Justin. Previously on Queen. Is there anyone less deserving of this year's Gay and Lesbian Center's Outstanding Award for Heroism than Brian Kinney? I didn't do anything. You saved Justin's life. If you came back here because you thought Brian was missing you as bad as you were missing him, you fucked up big time. That's not why I came back. It's going to be a real privilege to uh, to work for two distinguished gentlemen like yourselves. So, where would you like me to start? Wait! Wait. Listen to me, mister. You will show the ceremony. He saved my life. He's also stolen part of it. One day you'll see he's hurt you as much as your attacker. <laughs> The convention, asshole, you were supposed to meet me. No reason for you to be there with me, and there's no reason for me to expect you to be there. Previously on Queer as Fuck. Run! Weekend! Can you feel it, baby? You've never been? Poor Mikey's afraid to end up as the token pride clip on the 6 o'clock news. Where is that sexy beast? <laughs> and this must be Lita. Happy Pride! Happy Pride! How's it going? Fuck, I hate this. Happy Brian. How's it going? He was at the hospice. What the fuck was he doing there? It's where they assigned him his community service. Where's your hot new boyfriend? Oh, he uh, couldn't make it. Oh, I thought maybe he didn't want to be seen with this year's gay pride pity fuck. Michael! Is that you? <laughs> See you later, boy. Previously on Queer as Fuck. I've had the same dream ever since I've been little. To fall in love, get married, and have a baby. You're getting married? <laughs> Put it on. Or you're fired. Fuck you. Dean Ryerson. Professor Stanley tells me you were having some trouble today in life class. What's that, trouble? I'm gonna buy Buzzy store. You're buying a comic book store? That's crazy. So is staying in a job where I'm gonna be miserable for the rest of my life. So... I have decided to quit my new job and start my own porno website. Stop being a fucking princess and come give it a try. It's over, all right? Accept it. I'm not going to draw again. Previously on Queer as Fuck. M, who are you looking? M, I just love the bookish type. If I hadn't gotten bashed in the head, would I even be here? And no matter how hard you try to deny it, I can tell you care as much about him as he cares about you. You love him, don't you? The show must go on. Hey, are you crazy? You like jerking off, don't you? It's not exactly Modern Bride. Oh my god. You can fuck whoever you want, as long as it's not twice. And no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you always come home. I'm HIV positive. Previously on Queer as Fuck. It's not politically correct or even nice, but no, I wouldn't do it, no matter how much I like the guy. Wouldn't do what, honey? Date someone who's positive. Well, that's a hell of an attitude. Well, I gotta say, I'm kind of surprised hearing from one of you, considering all the guys you fuck. Thank you, Mother. <laughs> what for, honey? Ben's positive. You have the met with her wedding? That's different. Her wedding was real. Oh, so I owe all this to you. Question, I think. Yes. I can replace you whenever I want. For the first time in my life, I wish my son wasn't gay. I don't want you dating that guy. I don't care what you want. I wish you did. I'm sorry. Can I get a hand with that? I guess I was just fooling myself. Previously on Queer as Fuck. Am I going crazy? Oh my god. Fond admiration. Her secret. You're never going to get a boyfriend from voicemail. Go see my friend. So 
we discuss your feet. I'm afraid you made a mistake and not for Hyatt. Previously on Queer as Fuck. If you want them back, go fucking get them. I'm too tired to even get it up. You are in the biz. I took Viagra last night. It's been 18 hours and it won't go down. I'm going to see our new minister. I can't tell you what a comfort he's been to me since your father died. I hope you know it's a sin. That I fuck guys or that I didn't tell you. I feel about him. I made it perfectly clear. I love him, Mom. You're just gonna have to look previously on Queer as Captain Astro is dead. And it's not your place to refuse, Mother. Now what? She won't let me have my granny face wedding dress. Holy shit. Somebody strangled the victim. Looks like we got a Jane Doe. Just because you found a body on Liberty Avenue doesn't give you the right to make fag jokes. You know what I'd say if somebody were trying to stop me from doing something I love? Fuck them all. You got it, baby. Any moment, any one of us could pick up the wrong guy or get off the curb just as the bus is barreling down the street. There's never been a hard time to fuck a stranger. I'll be all right. Previously on Queer as Fuck. You can't possibly get married this Saturday. It'll be a total disaster. A catastrophe. The luckiest prick in Pittsburgh is... Brian Kinney! Don't seem to be fucking with me. Oh, yeah? How do you plan to go away and still be at Melanie and Lindsay's wedding? You want to be another Brian Kenny. Always running away from love, never towards it. Then you go to Miami and you fuck your little twinky brains up. But it's never going to make you happy. You take Lindsay to be your wife. I do. Previously on Queer as Fuck. Yeah, well, I did all three. Who haven't you fucked? Haven't fucked me. Or anybody I've been with. What? Who's me? This kid has got a name, and I'm gonna find it. The A game. What's wrong with wanting to associate with a higher class of people? What's wrong with the class of people you've been associating with? Why should I give a shit if he slept with you? Who hasn't? You. Previously on Queer as Fuck. like a good night. It was nothing compared to the weekend. You know if they're looking for more dancers? Are you asking me if, if some old drag queen is your father? The tips suck. And you need to dance in the bar. How do I do that? You give me some time. I'll give you some time. Previously on Queer as well. $410 in one night. For your tuition, which you won't have to worry about when they kick you out. You sound like my father. Oh, fuck off. What'll it be? How about you and me going out tomorrow night? Haven't you ever heard of the Mile High Club? Oh. You alright, George? So how'd you get the night off? He said I could have the whole weekend if I just went to some after hours party at his house. <laughs> you got a problem. Talk to me about it. You're a homophobic bigot and I want you to stay away from my mother. It appears the gentleman suffered a massive heart attack. Previously on Queer as well. You know, whoever our guy is, he doesn't have to be your standard superhero. What if his disguise is that he's a cold-hearted ad exec by day, defender of queers by night? I get a roof over my head, and in exchange, he can use jail. I I'd like to say something. Sorry, sir. It's friends and family only. I am a friend. Something tells me we've been stood up over a comic book. More than just a comic book. It's nothing as sexual as the act of creation. But not to worry, ladies. Won't even know I'm here. Previously on Queer as Fuck. Hi, you happy birthday. I told you I didn't want to party. I don't want to celebrate my goddamn birthday. And this is the guy who's good for my son. How was your birthday? Did you have a big party? Uh, not really. My boyfriend doesn't think being born is reason to celebrate. That sucks. I don't really want one anyway. No, I mean that you have a boyfriend. It's obvious how much you love him, yet you won't celebrate his birthday because you
you don't consider it an accomplishment. My viral is back up. That's what it was before I came home. Not the doctors getting the results. Previously on Queers. The first time that we've ever gone away together. Is that such a good idea? With your company being taken over? It says I have ten million one hundred forty-seven dollars and sixteen cents. The money was left to you by George Shingle. George? That's just the jealous wife routine. All I know is everything was fine before you left it. But we're going to run out. Some other time. Come on, you promised. It's business. Fuck business. The Shingle family is contesting and it's inheritance. You can't do that. He he left it to me. I feel like we've been friends for too long. We don't want to do anything like this. Previously on Queers for the Blind. Are you all right? Mr. Bruckner. Ben's in the hospital. How's he doing? Michael says not so good. I'm going to be with somebody who really wants to be with me. You don't need to see other people. Did you call your mom? No. So just give me shit. I don't need a bunch of shit right now. Love you. I just don't feel well. Stay home for one night, just the two of us. Not more than that long. You can either come with me, or you can stay here. It's your call. Previously on Queers. I'll call you about the weekend. So do I tell Brian or not? Absolutely not. Don't you ever wonder, though, what he's doing when you're not around? I know what he's doing. And it doesn't bother you. He's 19, for Christ's sakes. When I was his age, I was out fucking everything to move to. How about you, Ted? You, uh, you see anybody here makes your heart go good at that? Uh, maybe. Yeah? Oh, oh. Too soon to tell. Go oh, just stop. Go take a shower. You stink. Previously on Queers for... He loves me. He has a bull. In ways that you can't. In ways that I won't. I should give you my card. My name's Brian. Brian Kenny. And you are? I want to stay. Well, you can't. You can't. So just go back to your boyfriend. Love comes when you least expect it. Tell me. Who is it? You. I love you, Evan. I'm the guy. He told you? I told him. Yeah, why don't you mind your own business? Brian is my business. He's my best friend. Fuck you, Michael. Previously on Queer as Folk. He loves me. He has a bull. In ways that you can't. In ways that I won't. I should give you my card. My name's Brian. Brian Kenny. And you are? I want to stay. Well, you can't. You can't. So just go back to your boyfriend. Love comes when you least expect it. Tell me. Who is it? You. I love you, Evan. I'm the guy. He told you? I told him. Now, why don't you mind your own business? Brian is my business. He's my best friend. Fuck you, Michael. Previously on Queer as Folk. Ben and I would like to spend an evening alone. Well, I won't tell your boyfriend. If you won't tell Mike. Seems like an accomplished young man. Certainly more appropriate for you than Brian. Do you mind if we don't talk about him? All I said is that I would like to have another child. You want to have another baby so badly? Have it yourself. I can't accept tuition. Why? Is someone else covering it? No. Well, then you can't afford not. You did it with him, didn't you? I don't blame you for hating me. I don't hate you. I love you. I thought you didn't want to work together anymore. Deal is a deal. Previously on Queer as Folk. Sorry, what was that about Paul? Oh, didn't you hear that? He died last night. I was just admiring your boyfriend's latest creation. An artist always does his best work when he has somebody he loves to inspire. Yeah, so I've been told. There's been a slight change of plans. I'm going to be the one to carry our next child. You? You uh, need some help? Okay, I'll just buy you. Actually, it's got more to do with uh, nutrition, uh, supplements. You know what I mean? You actually expect me to have a baby with someone like that? I did. That was your decision. This one's mine. And I say, I want someone else. Previously on Queer as Folk. There's always time. 
Emma? That's Lady Michael. Hey, he's a real mensch and wouldn't give us any trouble. You had no right touching it. You had no right touching anything. I'm sorry, I, I thought it was our place. Apparently not. I must have heard you wrong because I swear you said you wanted me to be the father. You have to do what's right for you. So do I. I suggest we take Dear Ab's advice and get a house. A house? You up for it? Yeah. As soon as I get back from the gym. You're going to the gym again? I believe this belongs to you. Shouldn't you be getting back to your boyfriend? Previously on Queer as Folk. Glenn said if I sign with him, I have to be straight. Straight? I can't be out. Nobody can know I'm gay. Say hey to my new account. That fascist pig. Jesus, Brian, you know how Stockwell feels about gay people. What the hell is the matter with you? Everything seems to piss you off these days, especially me. They wanted me to sell out. You should do it. So you can get Justin back? I don't want him. Got it. Michael Spur. I love you. I love you, too. He signed the papers. You expect him to sacrifice his career for a piece of blonde boy ass? Is that your idea of true love, sunshine? Previously on Queer as Folk. By the way, you didn't hear from me. There's a certain police chief is going after businesses that pander to current interests. Don't worry about me, Deb. I run a clean operation. I do not need to be lectured by the biggest whore in Pittsburgh. You are fucking lucky you're not positive. I'm not going to perform without my muse. Don't you know I was playing just for you? You're under arrest, Mr. Smith. For what? Contributing to the delinquency of a minor? Sometimes you just think what? That might just be easier to do if someone's positive. Previously on Queer as Folk. Hi, uh, is Ethan here? It's blue. Damn right it's blue. Well, this means you're... You got it. Your friend Stockwell, he... Throwing some powers of being and throw the book at me. Think maybe you could put in a word. Sorry, Theodore, no can do. God's sake, stop! No use. Stop using this shit. Please, Brian. I am begging you. Help him. Look how many times you forgave Brian! I never forgave Brian! I never had to. Because he never promised me anything. You did. Previously on Queer as Folk. How old are you? You like young Nick? You can suck it for a bell. I can't stop thinking about him. Tell yourself Ethan's history. I'm talking about Brian. Did you take your pain pills? Yes, mother. Not with that, I hope. You know what comes from too much pills and liquor? At least I'm out of pain. Brian, this is Justin Taylor, our new intern. Justin, this is Mr. Kinney. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kinney. I'm going back to work. Uh-uh. You're staying here tonight. Alone. It's so like you. You don't hear what you want, so you leave. Have some balls. Previously on Queer as Folk. It's the most historic reunification since Germany. What happened to the Fiddler? He fell off the roof. For someone who's so intent on defending lesbian motherhood, you're not much of an example. Pittsburgh PD, this establishment is now closed. Stockwell is a fucking homophobe. That's what he is. You don't care about anybody but yourself. Stockwell and his supporters are my one-way ticket out of the second-rate, second-class bird. Fine, go. Take Justin with you. I said no! Are you all right? I'm sorry. I can't wait to... I'm just having a little too much to drink. Previously on Queer as Folk. Not tonight. There's something I gotta do. Call me a nut. A nut? And it's because of those goddamn posters. You tell him you're not my uncle, we'll call the police. They'll put me back in the system. Right, that may not be the worst thing. I'm not really gonna let this kid hustle you out of two thousand dollars. Understand what? What don't I get this time? He's positive. He made your statement once. That's enough. Now it's time to cut it out. I'm not cutting it out. I'm doing what I believe. All right. You want him to do it? <laughs> Previously on Queer as Folk. They tested you for HIV, and it turns out you're positive. Now that I've been thinking, we want to start a college fund for this. But it'll need to be managed by someone we can trust. And the sunshine we're up to was treacherous and deceitful, and I admit it. I'm so fucking proud of you in my life. If 
My, my boyfriend, Ted Schmidt, I'm looking for him. See, he didn't come home last night. He, he didn't even, he went to Palm Springs. What? Previously on Queer as Fuck. What the fuck? I thought you were working. We did not give you a key so that you could turn tricks in our home. See you, Mr. Hoodlist Hustler. You're a dumpster boy. I saw you picking up a cop. Now you have murder. I don't blame you for not accepting my apology, Mel. If I were you, I doubt I would either. Do you have any idea how hard that was for him? I know. I feel so bad for him. I don't. He's a fucking drug user. That is not true. Try it with me. So what is it going to take? Hard evidence. Something to link the suspect with the victim. DNA? Saliva, hair, a condom full of jizz. If you want to hustle that car, you should have asked me. Previously on Queer as Folk. No, I, I don't, uh, I don't want it anymore. You want me to apologize? If you care to remain a student in this institute. Got a date with a high school principal? I'm sure the kid's parents would love to hear that. I'm thinking about going back to school. We're predicting this time next week, I'll be the new mayor of Pittsburgh. You did it. I am beautiful. Everything is beautiful. And if you don't see it that way, you can just get the fuck out. They wanted me to apologize to him, and I couldn't. So you sacrifice everything. Sometimes you have to for what you believe in. Previously on Queer as Folk. The state's a shadow of its former self. Stop, stop, well. Want a hand? It's gonna take more than that. Your mom showed up today. Okay, give your mom a hug. Get away. She's planning to take him back. I hope you'll get some help. I don't need any help. Then I don't need you telling me what the fuck to do. Turn it on. Before you elect Jim Stockwell mayor, aren't there some questions you'd like answered? A commercial is a cost of a fortune. Meet the concerned citizens for the truth. How does it feel to be a porn star? The new mayor of Pittsburgh is Marvin Deacon. Oh, he gave it the last time to be counted, but we're the first to count it most! My name is Ted Schmidt. I need some help. Shit! She brought the fucking cops! Michael! Hunter's in deep shit trouble, so I took him and I ran. Go for it. Maybe I need a car. Yeah, I guess I've lost everything. Not everything. Previously on the Queer as Folk. You're not selling your loft. It's either cut my expenses or cut my wrist, so I've just opted for the tidier of the two. Fucking dirty little faggot! Brian paid for that commercial against Stockwell himself. Now he's $100,000 in debt. I just came to make sure you're all right, and it seems like you are. What the fuck's going on here? We're hoping you'll accept this. Thank you. Honey, I'm worried about you. What you could use is a generous sprinkling of fairy dust. You heard what the judge said. And live with Michael and Ben provided you stay on your best behavior. Hey, Darren. Chandelier was great tonight. It's what I do for love. Obviously on Queer as Folk. You can tell them I've just taken a new position. Doing what? Looking for myself instead of other people. They actually caught the fucking bastards. Wouldn't it be wonderful if for once justice were actually served? We protect ourselves, patrol the streets. You mean a vigilante group? Yeah, the pink posse. First guy who ever believed in me, I never really made amends to him. Did you try? Maybe now I'll get my chance. That is one ad you'll never see. They wouldn't have the balls. Drinks are on me, boy. You can get it! Maybe it's time that we stood up for ourselves. Fought back. And when your attacker bashed you, and then they got off practically scot-free, what exactly did you do? Previously on Queer as Folk. Fucking asshole the straight guys think we're just gonna stand there and take it like a bunch of scared sissies. As far as I'm concerned, they can fucking die. Glad to hear you're not angry. We decided to get our own place. Don't you dare worry about me. I'll be just fine. Cheesy, join us at Singing Waiters? Why do we want to go there? Ted's one of the Singing Waiters. Sure. Shout bravo for me. Did it ever occur to any of you that if I wanted you here, I would have asked you? I've always dreamed of having an office with a drain on the floor. I thought you might like it. I asked! Oh, if you had a problem! Yeah. You fucking fags look at it and die! Someone else once said that to me. Previously on Queer as Folk. I don't care if I get hurt as long as I hurt them more. They're not all assholes. I'm sorry, Larry. No way. And given the confidence and support of my clients, there's no way they'd allow it either. Ever since I moved in with my favorite lesbians, I'm trying to be a model house guest. Maybe time to get your own place. Yeah, thought. You want to mess with me, Dragon? Yeah. We want to mess with you. Yeah, the mind's being transferred as we speak. No, it's not. You want to make a liar out of me? Fucking amazing. Yeah, I was pretty good at loving that. You can keep on doing it starting Monday morning. I've never even held it ever. Want to play with it? Previously on Queer as Folk. Look at what I found. Some chance you played twice. After what happened the other night, we could have been killed. Play with this long enough and you will be. Where are you two hotties going? I just finished my book. And the most important critic, David Ray, review. I thought you said it was a snooze. 
Hey, I'm just about to put this under your door. I've written them to everyone. Everyone that is except Emmett. This is my sister. She's plenty. Yes, but I don't attend parties. I'm not invited to. Her from my publisher. That's what you mean. A professional opinion from people who know what they're talking about. They passed. You fucking coward! You let him get away! You could have ended it! Previously on Queer as Bo. I can't believe I'm actually painting with Sam Arlock. I told you. Keep stroking. Oh, no! Oh. Brett Keller would like to float the possibility of turning your brilliant comic book into a live action feature. And don't bother coming back until you say you're sorry. Here's my apology. Fuck you. Fuck you. I failed to make proper events to the one person I should have made them to a long time ago. It's Uncle Vic. What about him? He passed away. What you want to do, get paid to probe my prostate? I just thought you should know he's been a lump on your own testicle. Previously on Queer as Bow. I suspect it's a seminoma, a form of testicular cancer quite common in your age. It was Vic's last request. If I do all of it perfectly the way he would have wanted, then it just has to be right, that's all. Have you seen that pretty boy, Gus? No, the blaze of glory, both balls intact. No! It had to be perfect! Where are you going? Lisa, fuck you. I mean, we're supposed to go together. We're not fucking married! And I don't need to get your fucking permission if I want to go somewhere. Okay, Mr. Kenny. Relax and count backwards from ten. Previously on Queer as Folk. If he didn't tell you and he didn't tell me, then who did he tell? I guess there's no way that he has cancer. That's what he wants. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Draw something. What am I supposed to draw? Whatever the hell inspires you. You? I want this film to be as gritty, as dark, and as edgy as your comic. You should fit in perfectly on Hollywood. I think that you're jealous because somebody wants to make a big movie out of our comic book and no one will touch your novel. Why didn't you tell me? Maybe because I didn't want you to know. I'm your partner. Not anymore. Get the fuck out! Jesus. Previously on Queer as Bo. I just want everything to be perfect. Do right by you and your work. Heads up! Oh, oh, oh that was a close call. I didn't realize you could report something this extravagant. I got a check today from Hollywood. Well, I don't want your consolation prize or your pity. Looks like a couple of flamers to me. Even though you may be captain of the team, he wrote a millions. You still have a lot to learn about being a male. It's just that your book really spoke to me as a gay man. I mean, by the time I'd finished it, I felt I'd discovered things about myself I'd never known. Thank you. Catch. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's here. She thinks I have a nice party, too. Huh. Previously on Queer as Folk. Well, I like to fuck guys. Doesn't mean that I love them. I want to kiss them. No one's ever hear about this. So believe me if I told them. And when's the Woody? Let's just say that God gave me a second chance. I told Brian I'd help him find a famous sports figure to model Brian Athletic's new underwear line. What about him? Who? Drew Boyd. You know what part of your story I like best? The part where the gift giver decides not to sleep with the bug chaser and goes back to his partner. I think you got a lot of contradictory feelings going on here. I have no feelings for you. I mean, how could I? I'm a lesbian. <laughs> Previously on Queer as Folk. Sign up here for the Liberty Rod. Just an observation, Jeffrey, but wouldn't the money that you're spending here tonight be better spent helping to keep the hospital? Your Boyd and I have been having an affair. And now it's over. And the worst part of it is, I was falling in love with the son of a bitch. And guess what? Our boy has a boyfriend. What? I told you I had a friend. I didn't say it was a boy. Sam's gone. I've forgotten. What's important is it reconfirmed for me that this is who I am. That I still choose you. I'm not so sure that I still choose you. Previously on Queer as Folk. They need you to sponsor me for the Liberty Rock. I don't know if you're sponsoring someone else. Me. Hmm. Well... You can't. You haven't trained. There's no way you'd make it out of Toronto. You went into early labor, probably brought on by stress. Keep her in bed. Don't let her out. I'll strap her to it if I have to. Don't worry about us. Nobody needs to know us. None of their goddamn business. I've never had to live alone. And I'm not about to start now. So, guess we're stuck. You in bed, us with each other. Funny, isn't it? Aching. There is an alternative to going out in a blaze of glory. And that's giving them all the big fuck you. 
Previously on Queer as Folk, a different ensemble for every day of the Liberty Ride. Uh, I already told you I'm not going. Who said it's for you? I decided to go. I'm willing to confront my darkest fears for a worthy cause, which is helping a friend, being a support system. We can't go on doing the all-female version of Who's Afraid of Pacino Wolf. So what are you saying? I'll stay until after the baby's born. Will you marry me? Uh, yes! You're the man I've been looking for all my life. I do. What are you doing here? Every ride begins here, am I correct? So you came to cheer us on? No, I'm going on the ride. I'm busting it up for charity, same as you. Previously on Queer as Folk. I can survive anything. You're in severe pain. You should be resting. No, almost there. Bicycling down life's endless highways. I had time to think about what I'd do differently. Perhaps it's bad. For both of us, if we aren't together. You believe we're really married? Are we? Even if it was real for just a day, was it worth it? The government of the United States doesn't recognize gays getting married. You're a dad. <laughs> Have you picked on a name? Contention on the approval of all three parties. Jenny and Rebecca. We have to great life. That's awesome. It's going to be tough going back to Pittsburgh after this. Then why go? Stay here. Work in the movies. Going. That's what we both agreed to. For the times when you're not around, I wouldn't particularly mind it if you were. I want you to move back in. Previously on Queer as Folk. He's not coming back. Who the hell would come back to Pittsburgh after L.A.? Fenneman just pulled the plug. So it's over? Just like that? I'm the one responsible for all the problems. Damn right you are. The truth is, we haven't been living together since our daughter was born. I found that little something you told me to treat myself to. Babylon? How soon can we see it? That's your lifestyle, Liberty Avenue. It's time for a change. You're getting a little... A little what? Fat. When I agreed to be the baby's father, it's not in some sort of time-sharing arrangement with complimentary sniping. If this is how you plan on raising our daughter, then we should never have had her in the first place. Previously on Queer as Folk. It sucks about rage. When something's over, it's over. Guess how many homos showed up last night for the reopening of Babylon? Twelve. Where'd they all go? Poppers. You want me to do a new segment? That includes being Channel 5's Queer Fire. Jenny Rebecca is my daughter, too, and I'm going to have joint custody. You go ahead and try. But if you go through with this, Lindsay's going to be the one that gets left out. She should have thought of that before she cheated on Mel. Bags and bikes can fuck up their lives just like the rest of the world. There's still one thing Pittsburgh has that Hollywood doesn't. It's the offer still stands. Previously on Queer as Folk. I don't care why everyone left. That's one of the great mysteries of life. Why do queers desert one club for another? You can't leave the diner, Debbie. You are the diner. Lipo and Brownlin. So why not just have a little snip and clip and be done with it? I'd like to apply for the job. I know we don't have any qualifications. If you could just give me a chance. Holy shit, would you look how long that line is? You can either work out an equitable agreement between Jenny Rebecca's three parents. Or we can go to court and let a judge resolve this. Previously on Queer as Folk. Oh, I think he hurt himself. You got eight! According to the state of Pennsylvania, I now have one-third custody of my daughter. If you want to listen to me and done what I said, we wouldn't be playing this game of baby, baby. Who's got the baby? Hard Heroes Night? Every superhero fantasy you ever had come true. Love you. So what are you having done? Brow lift, blepharoplasty on my upper and lower eyelids, precision contra liposuction on my gut. Oh, uh, look. A dead puppy. <laughs> might still come. More cake crusaders for us. Previously on Queer as Folk. Syphilis? Surprised it hasn't happened sooner, considering where your dick's been. You haven't exactly been a saint yourself. I'm not going back! You told the principal that I should have no first for me. Well, I changed my mind. We have another kid who needed our attention. I don't care about your other kid right now. I care about this one. You look ten years what younger. What a fantastic job. You're going to go to court, and I will make sure that you lose custody. You just try it. Do you ever get tired of it? To get tired of something means it's become predictable, unsatisfying, boring. Coming to bed. Previously on Queer as Folk. Oh my god, who's that? Rage and JT are getting married. To 
just because it doesn't agree with your anti family values doesn't give you reason to dump on it. I know, because they happen to be my very own pair. Stick to turning straight guys into metrosexuals and leave your sex life off straight. Pride 2002, everybody called me and pity fuck. You just have to let it go or get even. I mean, I'm leaving for good. One little gesture, easily overlooked. It's begun. Previously on Queer as Foe. You already know what I want. A husband, a family, a home. Why are we still doing this if we both know it's never going to work? Come to find out. You infected him with your petty bourgeois, mediocre, conformist, assimilationist life. He didn't leave because I infected him. He left because of you. Proposition 14 is one of the most homophobic pieces of legislation in our country's history. You think you get to be the best by just showing up? You have to prove it first. Say the ten hottest guys we can find. And the one who fucks them all first wins. Say you win. I get into Babylon. And if you win, I get into you. Previously on Queer as Foe. Okay, fuck off to you and this year's young hot stud. Blames me for infecting you with all kinds of heretical ideas like marriage and monogamy and... I'm just sorry to ruin your friendship. No, no, I decided to have an in-house separation. We shared chores and childcare, but otherwise, we live totally separate lives. I'm sorry. Hunter isn't here. Where are you going? Sell his clothes? I wish you were here too, but he's not. Well, I'm like you, I still have a little faith. What you said about me having feelings for you was true. I guess that makes me... Okay. Aren't you going to collect your prize? Yeah. Whatever you say, you're the winner. Previously on Queer as Folk. I've already been a target. What if they were trying to destroy that? Two gay superheroes getting married. I know what you're suggesting, but there's no evidence of any hate crime. If you're asking me if I'm gay, the answer is yes. I've been suspended. Your work has a surprising intensity to it. Did you hear what he said? Remember this one? This whole in-house separation is working. I don't like the way you've been treating Michael. Then you talk to me. Then you talk to him. Just because we've been friends our whole lives doesn't mean we have to stay friends. So why don't we just admit that the Brian Mikey show is over? Previously on Queer as Folk. There's been an explosion at Babylon, a local gay club, where a political fundraiser was underway tonight. Authorities fear there may be many injuries, possibly fatalities. Well, we can thank us. Please don't let anything happen to him. Love you. He's lost a lot of blood. Before we can do anything, he's going to need a transfusion. I'm O negative. Gays are considered to be too high of a risk. Take my blood, motherfucker! Previously on Clear as Folk. It was a bomb. Four dead, 67 wounded. He had to remove his spleen. There was also a lot of internal bleeding. Sweetheart! The doctor said you're going to be fine. You don't look so surprised. And how about marrying me? Stop being ridiculous. I mean it. Your son should burn in hell! You don't know what it's been doing! There are plenty of straight people who don't hate us. The ones who do no longer have to do it behind our backs. That's the kind of place we want to raise our kids. Then maybe it would have been better if you hadn't come back at all. Maybe you came back because you miss them as much as they miss you. Who lives here? We do. I buy it. Without even knowing what my answer would be? Yes. I will marry you. Previously on Queer as Folk. I and Justin are getting married. What happened between us? I behaved like an asshole. You behaved like a bigger one. You want to be my best man? You met someone? The one. I'm going to move to Canada. Taking JR and Gus. Before we do anything, we want your approval. And I give you my blessing. Gus stays here. Well, I want another chance. Keeping us here isn't going to make up for all this new opportunity. When do we go? I'll leave. It's the night of my birthday dinner, remember? You can cancel it. What's the problem? Remember that critic from Art Forum? He wrote an entire article about you. This is a chance to take the next step. New York isn't my opportunity of a lifetime. Brian is. 